The Sentinella solar project will be built on this land right behind me. The $700 million project promises to give the Imperial Valley a huge economic boost and bring in hundreds of jobs, something that this area, which has a 29% unemployment rate, could really use. With the Imperial Valley sitting at the top of the unemployment list in the nation, Sentinella Solar Energy and Floor Construction plan to make it a priority to hire as many local residents as possible. We've made it a, f a focus to, to work with local contractors, um, also have local opportunities, so we're working with the unions to do training. And so we think it's very important. We think it's a great opportunity. There's this project, there's other solar projects on the horizon, so as people get trained, they can go from this project to another project, and so it's a great opportunity. The renewable energy facility will be built on more than 1,600 acres of private land and will sit less than six miles from the Imperial Valley substation. For Imperial County Supervisor Mike Kelly, he's especially excited by the promise the facility will bring an estimated $450 million to the local economy. These additional dollars will create a trickle-down effect and create an even more jobs that are not tied to the solar plant. I think today is an outstanding day for Imperial County to fully utilize one of the resources that we do have here, which is the sun. It's a dynamic opportunity for us economically, it benefits the local businesses, and more importantly, it creates jobs. Michael Neagley from San Diego Gas and Electric says that the facility will help the state reach its goal of providing clean and renewable energy to its residents. This is vital. This is actually one of the steps that gets us towards meeting our goals for the state of California. We have a goal to have 33% of our energy provided from renewable resources, and this is one of the key steps. It took Sentinella Solar Energy four years to get all the permits approved by county, state, and federal authorities. The construction of the solar plant will take approximately 22 months and will be fully operational in early 2014. Reporting in Calexico, I'm Jose Martinez, KSWT News 13.